Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and this week I bring you a new app called QuizApp, which I built using Glide, a no-code mobile app building tool. For a limited time, viewers of this channel can get a copy of QuizApp for a 50% discount at grumo.com slash quizapp. And now let me show you how QuizApp works. Here we have QuizApp loaded in the Glide editor, where you can fully customize it. But first, I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's say that you're somebody taking a quiz, all you have to do is uh, search for a quiz, like for example, brain, and you have a quiz here, and you can also mark them as favorites. Okay, oh, but you have to log in first. Yes, you have to log in to take quizzes. So you can go here to this avatar button here, and you can preview as one of these users. And, and let's preview it as myself. I have administrator rights, that means that I can edit quizzes and add quizzes. If you select any other of the preloaded users, they don't have admin rights, so they would be like any other student taking a quiz. So let's pretend I am my wife in this case, taking a quiz. And I'm going to take a quiz with five questions and start quiz. The meaning of life is 42. What is better? Cookies. What is two and two? Four. What's the capital of Spain? Toledo, Madrid, Granada, Bilbao, Sevilla. Madrid, you knew this, right? Do you like this quiz? Maybe not, yes, 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 maybe not. Yes, you do. I got five out of five, yeah, baby. So you get the results at the very end, and I did it perfectly. And I could retake the quiz too. And if I need a hint, boom, there's a hint there. What is the meaning of life? Hits Hiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh yes, I remember it, 42. And if you make any mistakes, obviously they will show up there. And now you can click in any of the questions and see what was the correct question and an explanation as well. So what is better? I said pizza, obviously it's cookies, and the explanation is cookies are the best. And you can keep taking quizzes. So let's take another quiz. Uh, three questions, start quiz, 12, pizza, three, and I got zero, oh my goodness, but I can take it again and I can do better this time, cookies and four and I'm gonna get 100%. Now, as a student taking these quizzes, you'll be able to see your profile with uh, how many quizzes you've taken, your average score, uh, bio if you have one, uh, link to your website and then the recent scores from your quizzes. In this case, we have 100% here and we have 40% in this one. And you can also edit your profile. And that is pretty much it, the experience from a quiz taker. Now let's pretend that you are the administrator. How would you add a quiz? How would you edit quizzes? How would you see what's going on behind the scenes in this amazing one and only quiz app that I created on a weekend? All right. So now inside Glide, I'm going to log in as the administrator, which in this case is here and by the way the first thing you should do when you get this app is to go to the attached google sheet because glide works as a beautiful mobile interface on top of a google sheet that means that for every app there should be a google sheet in this case there's a google sheet you can access by clicking here where it says edit sheet that will open the attached google sheet and here you'll have all the tables that contain all the data inside this quiz app you'll have a table for quizzes for questions for answers that to store all the scores for users choices and app logins uh, so for users here the first thing you would do is would be to modify the name an email of the administrator user with your name and email so you can log in as yourself and be able to have administrator rights. Anybody that has here under level, it says admin, will be able to have administrator rights. So if I copy this and I put it here, that means Beth J. Anderson would be able to also act as an administrator. If I delete this, then nobody will be able to administrate the app, which would suck very much. So let's put that back in. All right, so once you've done that, you'll be able to change and modify any, everything once you're logged in as an administrator. So we're logged in as an administrator right now. By the way, if you wanna see how somebody would see the app without being logged in, you just unclick this and check that. And now you can see what people will be able to see without being logged in. But we wanna be logged in as an administrator so we can edit quizzes. So if you wanna edit a quiz, you can click here now on this pencil that is only visible to administrators. How do you do that when you're editing this app? Very simple. Under layout here, you can go to edit and here it says allow users to edit, but here we have a condition which it says allow users which level is admin, 
right? So that means only administrators can edit the app here. So we click here, now we can edit a quiz, we can change the image, the title, the description, we see the five questions that belong to this quiz, we can see the questions and we can modify the questions as well and also modify which one is the correct answer. And also we can add new questions as well. Click done when you're done and then you will have edited that quiz. Now, if you wanna add a new quiz, just click on the plus button, which is only available for administrators. You click on that, and now you can start adding a quiz, which I'm gonna do really quickly so you see how fast you can create awesome quizzes with Quiz App. All right, so now I'm gonna click add to add the quiz, and that takes us to the screen where we're gonna add questions. So let's add some questions. Which Apollo mission landed first on the moon? Well, it's C, so you click on C because that's the correct. Then you can give an explanation or a hint. So let's give a hint, for example, it was not 13, and then just an explanation or any kind of message that is going to appear at the end of the quiz. And then if you wanna add a description to add more context to the question, you could add it here. Then you submit it, and the question has been added. You can see it right away, and you could also edit it here. Let's add another question. What's the name of a SpaceX fully reusable rocket? I think it's this one. Okay, we can also have a hint, some explanation or further context to the question and then submit. And let's add another question. And the third question is, who wrote El Quijote de la Mancha? ¿Quién escribió El Quijote de la Mancha? Was it Michael Jackson? Was it Justin Bieber? Was it Miguel de Cervantes? Hint, he was from Spain. And a little bit of trivia at the end of the quiz, Miguel de Cervantes lost a hand at Lepanto. Poor guy, and still he was able to write one of the most popular and amazing novels of the history of Spanish literature. Okay, so you can see I cannot submit because I haven't selected the right answer, which is a C for Miguel de Cervantes. Now I can submit and we have our quiz completed. Let's check it out. There should be a new quiz. Quick sample, let's take the quiz, okay? So, quiz sample, three questions, a start quiz. Which Apollo mission landed first on the moon? Show, show hint, it was not 13, it was 11, my friends. What's the, na the name of the space? X fully reusable rocket which is coming up, it's called a Starship. Who wrote the Quixote de la Mancha? Of course it was, just, no, it was not Justin Bieber, it was Miguel de Cervantes, our hint. Click, we should get 100%, we did. Now we can go back to our profile and see that we got 100%, which is perfect. And we could keep doing this with all our quizzes, but because we're administrators, we can go to this sandwich menu on the top left corner, click on it, go to admin, and we'll be able to see the stats of our Quiz app, total users seven, total quizzes four, total questions 15, total quizzes taken three, me, my wife, my wife, my wife, and then you can click there and see the results as well. You can also add a quiz right from the administrator's screen if you wanted to. Go back and you can see a list with all the users. So if you wanna edit any user, you could do it from here. And there's two other screens, questions and results, which you shouldn't touch, otherwise you'll break the app. Okay, but if you're logged in as a normal user, they won't be able to see that. You see, they don't see those screens because they're only administrator screens. And you're good to go. And that was how you, as an administrator, can add content. Okay, so now let's change the look, the design, so it fits your own branding. The first thing you're gonna do is go to the cog wheel, and then you're going to go to appearance and here you can change the look. You have six different themes, three dark and three light. Uh, you can also match a device's theme. Let's say that you are in dark mode in your computer or in your Apple or Android device. Then you can match, click here to match the device's theme. So let's say that we just want to go for the darker mode. Boom, darker mode. And we can change the accent color. And now we have like, uh, let's say purple. And now the next thing you would do is go to App Info, change the name of your app, Quiz App by you, and then you would change the description if you wanted to. Then that takes care of the overall design and look 
of your app, but you can of course customize absolutely everything. This is the beautiful thing of building apps with Glide, is that if we go to layout, now you can change anything inside any of the screens. For example, if I go to the main screen here with quizzes, we can see that the style layout is cards, but it, we could have swipe, details. If I go to list, it would look like that. A tiles, cards, calendar doesn't make sense. You could have details. I like cards, but now you can see it's broken. So I would go undo, undo, and undo until it looks the way it used to look. And the same thing here, you can see all the elements that were added are here and you can rearrange them as well. I can put the button on top, the button below, you can add components to, you can add buttons, text, images, all kinds of things to make your app specific to your needs. And finally, the moment of truth. By now you should have customized the look and feel of your quiz app, added your own quizzes, and you're ready to go live. And to do that, all you have to do is click on the, well, publish button. Click publish app, and now you're going to enter your own URL. And here you enter your URL, and if it's available, good to go. And now you're ready to go. All you have to do is share that link and people can install it in their Android phones by clicking add to screen and then confirming, or in their Apple phones by clicking share and then home screen and then click to install and it'll appear in your home screen where you can launch it and start using it. So that's it. That's an overview of how QuizApp works. I hope you liked it. And if you want to get a copy for a limited time, viewers of this channel can get a 50% discount by going to grumo.com slash quiz app. Happy quizzing, thanks for watching, bye bye.